Elder Lahab is going off concerning the uh, 1,000 year rule where Esau comes back in the power after we were in the kingdom for a thousand years. Okay, this is a video that I was caught almost at the end, maybe the last, I don't know, half an hour. And I was going back and forth through other videos and I will come back to this. Like I said, this was put up last night on the FOPI, for our people, or the edification FOPI. Um, they got together with uh, Lahab, or as his title is now, Elder Lahab, the Gog and Magog War. And he hits a lot of good points, but he goes off. The main thing that he goes off on is uh, he goes to Ezekiel 38, and he says that, uh, as a matter of fact, let me go to it. Let me go to it. I want to focus on um, Ezekiel 38 and um, Revelation chapter 20, verse 7. And this is what he says. And I'm going to let you listen. Now, he mentioned um, the Christians referred to as the Great Tribulation. It goes to uh, Daniel chapter 9, starting from the 25th verse on down to the end, which I think the last verse is 29th verse. I'm not going to go to it. I may go to it, but it speaks about the uh, uh, seven years and in the middle which is three and a half years. I got to read it so, so I don't botch it up. But the so-called Christians use that scripture in Daniel 9, maybe 27, 27 verse, because I the 25th verse. And they say it's talking about the great tribulation of seven years, this and that. That already took place. And I don't know where Lahab got that from. Maybe he watched us. Go through it, I don't know. Maybe you always knew it. But that really wasn't taught too tough at One West. You know, the seven never went into, never touched Daniel chapter 11. They never touched, they really never went into Daniel 9 too tough. They went into Daniel 7, they went into Daniel 2, they went into Daniel 8. And um, like I said, he's going to speak on that, which he's correct on. He's, he said that was referring to the uh, Romans making a treaty, so, uh, some kind of treaty with Israel, because they were being heavily taxed. And then the Romans broke the treaty. You got to go into the history on that, which is a whole other subject. And that's what that's talking about. As a matter of fact, you know what? Let me go to it. I'm not going to go all into the math and the numbers. I'm just going to hit the points. Okay, Daniel 9. Should I go to the 27th verse or the 25th verse? Okay, Daniel 9, verse 25. I'm not going to go all into the math and how many years this. Based on that, I'm just going to briefly go through it. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and build the Rosh what's that talking about? Matter of fact, you know what I'm going to do? Let's see what the commentators say. And I'm pretty sure they got it uh, correct. But let's see what they have to say. We are, before I go to it, we know what this is talking about. Knowing therefore and under, know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem. Who gave the commandment? Cyrus. And go into that history. Let's see what these commentators have to say.
there, but uh, Elder Lahab, as his title is, he clearly went off. He's hitting a lot of good points. He's correct on a lot of things, but when he went into uh, Ezekiel 38 and um, Revelation 20, and we'll get we'll cover that. He said after uh, starting from the seven verse Revelation 20 verse seven, after the thousand years the beast was uh, loose and all that, and they encamped the they they encircled the camp of the saints. He's saying that that's talking about we're going to be in the kingdom for a thousand years. Everything's going to be good. And then Esau is going to make his second advent. That ain't talking. That's not talking about that. And I'll, and I'll clear it up in a minute. Okay, Daniel, uh, Daniel 9, verse 25. Know therefore and understand that from the going forth of the commandment to restore, to restore and to and to build Jerusalem, let's go back in the history that was talking about the Babylonians when Esau burnt down the temple, burnt down most of Jerusalem. And Esau always did that. You know, he did that, you know, during the time of the Romans. The, even even so-called Jewish, small hat scholars, so-called Jewish scholars even say that. The top scholars of so-called Jews they say that the, the Romans are the, are the descendants of the Edomites. And so are you. Uh, Jerusalem, which means city of peace, unto the Messiah, the prince shall be seven weeks, and a week represents seven years, and three score, three score and two weeks. Three score means 60. Uh, and two is uh, 62, and then seven is 69. So we're talking about six, 69 times seven minus a year. So 69 going into the 70th week. Uh, the, the street shall be built again, and the wall even in troublous times. I went through that in the previous video in um, Ezra's chapter four, where the nation said they didn't want it, they wanted to build with us. They wanted to serve our God. And because Zerubbabel and Joshua, the high priest and the top men said, no, we will build ourselves. This is not for you. Then they made it, made it hard for them to rebuild the, uh, you know, the temple, Jerusalem, you know, the city again. So let's see what these people have to say. Uh, by, I always go to Bible, Cambridge Bible, they're normally short, but they're pretty, pretty much, this commentary is pretty long. I guess they're confident as to what it means, understanding the Hebrew word being the same as that rendered, have uh, this discernment, Daniel 913, and different from the one rendered, understand, and Daniel 9 verse 23, the going forth of the word, Daniel 9, verse 23, Isaiah 55, 11, the references to the divine word spoken by Jeremiah, the meaning of whose prediction is here interpreted, Daniel 9, verse 2. To restore, to cause to return, to bring back often use of exile, but to but not use elsewhere of restoring, i.e., building a city, the people get to the point, man. Give you a lot of verbal dia diarrhea, written diarrhea. Okay, the anointed one, a prince, the term anointed used uh, frequently, blah, 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 blah. Come on, man. Okay, let's get down to here. You got to hear a whole lot of crap coming from Esau. Shall be seven, seven weeks and in three score and two weeks. It should be built again. Broad place and a uh, moat. And that in straight of times, 
So according to uh, Hebrew inter inter punch inter punction, whatever that word means, I gotta look that up. A manifest agreement with what the central chi is seven weeks or or the eclipse for the word commanding commanding the rebuilding of Jerusalem to the anointed one, the prince, then it will be built again as a complete city. Won't they get to the point, man? Condition of Jerusalem from BC 538 to 171. It mentions Ezra 4. Nehemiah 9, verse 37, and yield uh, Jerusalem would indeed build restoration 538 in uh, BC with a material completeness, but but would not until long afterwards enjoy the splendor uh, which the prophets had promised. I'm, I'm mumbling through this to try to get to the point. Doing a lot of freaking yapping. Instead of getting to the point. Okay, in trouble is times. Okay, what commentator is this? Elliot's commentator, commentary for English readers. I'm gonna go right to it. In trouble is times. The whole history of the rebuilding of Jerusalem after Babylon, after the media Persians took over, tells us one long tale of protracted opposition. The Zerubbabel was compelled to undergo the persecution of his adversaries and to bear their misrepresentation, which is Ezra 4, verse 1 to 6. Now, when the adversaries of Judah, the other the nations around about of Judah and Benjamin, heard that the, that the children of the captivity built the temple to the Lord, all right, attempts to delay the work were uh, were made in the region of Darius. The latter times, as was four verse twelve, complaints were made that the walls were being rebuilt. Probably on this occasion, the works that had been executed were destroyed. Nehemiah one verse three, and it and it was not until the twelfth. Uh, uh, the uh, 20th year of uh, Artaxerxes that Nehemiah succeeded in completing the wall and not even then without the most indefatigable labors. Tongue twisted to me. Okay, let's go over here to, what is this? All right, let's go back. As a matter of fact, let's stay, stay here. Like I said, these guys are hit, hit or miss. After, uh, and after three score and two weeks, shall Messiah be cut off? Now we know Messiah is, is the Lord. But not for himself, because he's going his, his, he's gonna to die for Israel and his south, because what he did as Solomon in his previous life. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city. Who shall destroy the city? The Romans. And the sanctuary. They raided the, uh, the, the uh, treasury. And the end thereof shall be with the flood. The flood is talking about the Roman armies coming in as a, like a flood. And unto the end 
of the war, desolations are determined because they're gonna, they're gonna destroy the temple. Desolations are determined. It's gonna be, the ball is gonna be in their court. That's why the Lord made that prophecy when you see the abomination that maketh desolate, desolate, flee ye into the mountains. They fled everywhere. They went into Europe, they went into Africa. And he shall confirm the covenant and the he represents the Roman, you know, the Roman uh, leadership with, with many of Israel for one week. The one week, we know the week represents seven years, right? And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sanctuary and the oblation to cease. Uh, cease. So, that, so that treaty that they made, you got to go into the history, whole nother topic, uh, was in, was in uh, 66, during the time of Nero. And then you had the, four, the period of the four, the four uh, emperors, yeah, the four emperors, Galba, Ortho, Ortho, Galba, Galba, Ortho, Vitalis, and, and, um, and Vespasian. When you look up, when you look up uh, the year of the four emperors, it'll give you the order. Matter of fact, let me go to it in case of Jake think I'm making this shit up. Yeah. Yeah of the four, oh, I'm sorry, four emperors. Year of the four emperors. The year of the four emperors, AD 69, that was that year where they were, one, a couple of them got killed. Well, all three of them got killed. The one, one committed, uh, uh, suicide. Now the treaty was made during the reign of uh, of um, uh, you know Donald Trump, um, Nero, and it was broken a year later with Vespasian and Titus. The year of the four emperors, AD sixty nine, was the first civil war of the Roman Empire during which four emperors ruled in succession: Galba. Ortho, and it was Ortho that committed suicide. Some scholars say he had a dream that he committed suicide, then he woke up and committed suicide, or the dream was he knew that Vespasian was gonna kill him, so he said, I'm gonna kill, he's gonna kill himself before Vespasian gets him. So the scholars argue on that. Galba was put to death, and Vespasian, Vespasian was supposed to be behind it. Ortho, killed himself. Vitalis was also put to death. And um, it was also, he was a suspect. It is considered an important, what the hell is this? Interval marking the translation from the Julio to Claudians, the first imperial dynasty to the Flavian dynasty. The Flavian dynasty is uh, when um, this guy came into power, uh, Vespasian. Let's find. Let's find out. Going into a lot of history here. The Flavian dynasty ruled the Roman Empire between. AD 69 and 96 are uh, encompassing the, the reigns of Vespasian, 69 to 79 AD, uh, AD and, his, and his two sons, Titus and Domitian. Domitian built the, uh, the honorary arch, arch to uh, Titus. Now let's come back over here.
Where was I at? Okay, I think I was right here. Okay, in the midst of the week, I see what this says. Or during half the week, the letter half of the of the week, according to the um, Septuagint. That's how you know what I'm talking about Septuagint, Septuagint. He will cause to cease all the Mosaic sacrifices, possibly those mentioned in Daniel eight and eleven. Whether bloody or unbloody, the verb cause to cease is is used is used here as in Jeremiah thirty two verse sixty nine. Yeah, they kind of all the way doing a lot of talking, but anyway, let's let's go. Let's read this again, Daniel 9, verse 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with, with many for one week. That's a covenant that the Romans made with Israel. And in the midst of the week, the seven years, he shall cause the sacrifice and the inflation to cease. That's what the abomination that maketh desolate to cease. And for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. The abomination that maketh desolate is the Romans even until the consumption and that, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Who's the desolate? We, we're, des we're desolate, desolated. So that's it on that. So I just went into the brief history of the last couple of verses of Daniel 9. And, and um, Lahab, our elder Lahab, he was correct. He was correct on that. Let's try. Okay, let me get him back. Okay, so let me, matter of fact, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me come back over here. Uh, but the judgment shall stick, and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it into the end. Yeah. In verse 27 And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting and all yeah. dominion. And all dominion shall serve and obey him. Yeah, he's okay. okay. right? So you see that. that that this, when you read, when you, when you go into uh, Revelation and you, know, and you see the three and a half, uh, 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 or you see the 42 months, or you see the 1,260, that is the completion of Esau's time on the planet Earth. And at the end of the three and a half days, the, three, the 42 months, the, the 1,060 uh, uh, days, that's uh, different from um, the seven years in the middle of the week, the week in the middle of the week in Daniel 9. That's, this is talking about something different. The 42 months is talking about something totally different. Esau's time ends right at the beginning of the day. So at the end of the three and a half days that it's talking about here, it's the beginning of the day as well. So, um, so now, so. The menu will be given to Israelites, uh, and, and you can read on, and we'll you show you what God has determined. Ah, verse 28, chapter 2, is the end of the matter. That is the end of the matter. So, anybody, anybody else got anything to say? <laughs> any of the Gentiles got anything to say? Any right. man on earth? That is the end of the matter. Israel got the kingdom back. <laughs> Right. And God said, that is the end of the This is done. He right. thought Israel will be the head of the world. Israel is the head of the kingdom of God. 
and, and, and it's done. So now what you need is just like that. Right. That is the conclusion that it matters. Right. Yeah. Most people say it is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> As for me, then, my protestation too much troubled me, and my countenance changed in me, but I kept the matter in my heart. Yeah. Okay, now, so uh, one more, right? Uh, before I go, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, uh, a press, right? Um, because I don't want to put out too much uh, at one time, right, today. Um, I just wanted to clear up some of those issues, right? Now, the book of Revelation, the, uh, we're going to look at the final end of the Great Tribulation. Show you that this tribulation that started in um, Matthew, the 24th chapter, and the 21st verse, leads all the way up into the book of Revelation. So now, this is the book of Revelation, right? The seventh chapter, the 13th. I hope you can hear it clearly. It's a little muffled on my end, so I hope you can hear it clearly, but. I wanted you to hear it so no one says I'm putting words in um, Lahab's mouth or Elder Lahab's mouth, all right? Like I said, in the beginning of the video, part of the, um, the title of the video, he went off on the um, mainly Revelation 20, verse seven, where he says, we're gonna be in the kingdom for a thousand years and then Esau is gonna somehow pop back up and come against us again. Mark God and make God. So listen up, please. Into the 15th verse. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna close it up here. Okay. Uh, Revelation, Revelation the seventh chapter and the uh 13th verse. 13th verse, okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 13. And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence come they? Which came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which come out of the great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Okay, let's put it right here. Can you see it? Great tribulation, in other words, for great tribulation is the time of Jacob's trouble. These are those that came out of great tribulation. Here we are now in the book of Revelation, right? So the tribulation was a dispensation of time that everybody that was going to be saved after Christ came walked through those tribulations, walked through the day of tribulation. Day of tribulation was when Israel fell, the evil, the evil regime was going to come in, hatred and murder and robbery was going to escalate in the world, all kind of plagues and storms and battles. Great Tribulation is uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, which we're getting ready to experience. And I also call it Esau's trouble, because Jacob's trouble, when Jacob's trouble comes, when we experience Jacob's trouble, Esau is going to experience Esau's trouble. Because when Jacob's trouble ha takes place, when it happens, when we experience it, everything's going to move fast. But before that, they're going to attempt to Karagma, everybody on the planet Earth. Revelation 3 verse, uh, was that? 3 verse 10. They were wars, uh, they killed millions of people killed continuously on this planet Earth. Uh, so now, so just let me read this, right? Uh, and I, the 14th verse, I just want to get this. And, and I said something here, sir. Thou Lord, and you said to me, be a day which came out of great tribulation. See that? The great tribulation. The time of Jacob's trouble. With the destruction of Jerusalem and in the book of Revelation with the, with the coming of Christ. That's what I want to tell you, right? Mm -hmm. So now, here we are in the book of Revelation, right? And I said unto him, sir, thou Lord, you said to me, be a day which came out of great tribulation. But the world has been in tribulation since the fall of Israel. In the fall of Israel, once Esau got the rulership, uh, um, when, remember when Solomon ruled, the world was in peace, remember? All the nation was in peace around Solomon. Remember? What shows that he's wrong on that is you had a time where Esau went down, Revelation 20, and we had a, a reign of a thousand years. 
uh, Revelation, also in Revelation 20. We had a reign of a thousand years. So there was a time where we were over Esau. So that's not talking about that. The great the tribulation that came out of great tribulation, Revelation 7, 13. These are they that came out of great tribulation is Jacob's trouble. Okay. Esau has never brought the world to peace. He brought it to, he broke it down in pieces, brought it to chaos, and destruction, and the killing, and the destruction. Uh, and the education of people, and the people out in the street, look at it, homeless on the street, right? You think of you don't care. Uh, uh, women and children. Look, look how he raised the, raised the, the prices on gas and uh, on food, right? Because what's going on now, right? They're not raising prices. Well, it looks seems like they're raising prices. Prices are being raised, but in reality, the dollar is being devalued. It's called hyperinflation. So people are looking at high prices if they understood how the money system works anywhere on the planet Earth. They would understand when they experience hyperinflation, they would understand that the dollar is dying. The dollar is losing its value. They compare the dollar to other dollars, pounds, whatever, Deutsche Marks, pounds, shekels. The other, they, they compare the the U.S. paper dollar, Federal Reserve, to other dollars, and they say, well, the U.S. dollar is strong against the other dollars. But the U.S. dollar is weak. You got a bunch of weak people ready to die. You got some people that are dead. You got others that are just two seconds from dying. You got others that are kind of up, but they're dead down on the floor. And um, if they don't get any uh, medical attention, they're going to wind up getting worse and dropping dead. So that's the dollar. It's the strongest among the weak, the weak. It's the strongest among the weak dollars. Like you see that whiteboard, uh, uh, that even my kill people up in Buffalo, those 10 people. He's, wow. uh, he's, he's trying to kill us in all kinds of ways. This, let, me, let me take it right. They're trying to say this uh, inflation uh, 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 and, and demand, that's why they're raising the price. No. The rich white boys that got together to cut off the poor people in the world. It's inflation, uh, Elder Lahab. It's, it's, it's inflation. It's hyperinflation. World and raise up the white supremacy statue. That's what Trump said was all about. That's what it was all about. That's why he's he mad now because Trump didn't get in because they are shutting down, meaning that even if you got to get a $15 raise here in New York and other places, if they got that right. Now, the inflation is taking that money out of their pocket, and now they're raising the rich on the pocket bills, they're raising the, the food. These are rich white people doing it, okay? This ain't, this ain't on the state. They're trying to, and the main people he's trying to shut down is Israel. And it's, he's kind of right on that. They, he's, he's, you know, they're not raising prices. Prices are being raised. Prices are forced, being forced to be raised. They're, they're forced to raise the prices because the dollar had, lacks value. Now, what, what do you mean by the rich? Yeah, the rich is behind it. They, they uh, flooded dollars in the system at a, at, a, at a fast rate. And that's, and it had go back to history, go back to Venezuela, what happened with Venezuela. And that was, that happened because of the sanctions uh, during the time of Trump and even before Trump. Um, Zimbabwe, was that? Is that Zimbabwe? I believe that's Zimbabwe with Robert Mugabe, the premier. They suffered the same thing that during the time of the Weimar Republic. I always go into that. All paper dollars go to zero, meaning they, they, they've come to nothing. And it put them back into a condition of captivity. That's why these white uh, uh, militia groups were strong. They thought that Trump got in and they're gonna run roughshod in, in, in the communities of Israel with, this, with those militias. Okay. Yeah, I have all this information, right? That, that's what they thought they were gonna do. That's why the brother, uh, you know that brother, uh, uh, you know, that went down to Georgia, Stone Mountain, Georgia, right, with those, with those brothers, with that, with that army of brothers with those guns. Yeah. The, uh, and, 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 um, and yeah, what, yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah, right. That's right. Uh, yeah, they're not ready for prime time players, NFC, NFAC, which, you know, uh, he ran for president, what was that, 2016, and he, he was at a, uh, 
he was in the audience of a Trump speech before Trump became president. So we know about him. He's out of the news. He, he was big. Jake started follow, following him. Now he's out of the news. They don't speak about him no more. That's why you got to think, what, what was that? NF what? NF what? He started off with the comedic thing. Then all of a sudden he became an Israelite. <laughs> But we knew he wasn't down with the, the one West because he called the name of the Lord Yahweh. Then he was calling white people Edomites. Come on, man. We saw right through that shit. Because uh, this force is, they saw what happened. This force is moving in the, in the world like that, right? But Esau, we're not going to think Esau like that. God going to raise up a nation like Israel. And like we said, Esau is going to be the first one to go All of them, or some of them are going to be all right, I believe, because Elder Lahab, I ran into you at the gas station, what is it, two years ago, two, three years ago, and I asked you, are Edomites and other nations going to make it? He said, yeah, if they, if they believe. Well, so there's certain Edomites that's not going to, they're going to be standing, they're going to be, have foot on, the Edomites are going to have their foot on other Edomites next. I don't know if you change your tune, man. Israel, uh, uh, it's going to be worse for him. Okay, so this is going to be a whole lot. Of Pardon me? I'm no, I was saying it was the NF, NFA group you was talking about. Yeah, 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 that's right, yeah. Yeah, they're not ready for prime time players. So, uh, but what I'm trying to tell you, people are talking about why everything is rising. The white people are raising the prices. And, and then, it, now, now look, look what they're saying. Of, well, how are we going to stop inflation? We're going to raise interest rates. Okay, that means the credit card bill go up. That means the interest, that means your home loan goes up. That means everything goes up. Uh, uh, and, and the tax that's on Wall Street keeps getting. Yeah, that one senator, I believe, said he's going to tackle inflation by raising raising the taxes. So, you, in other words, prices will come down on food and gas and everything, but you have to pay more taxes. You're still in the same the same boat, you know that you're on a ship, right? A, a sinking ship, you know. You 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 die, You go going to the right side of the ship or the left side. You're still going to fucking drown. And this is this this place. This place is done, man. This place is done. Everything's moving fast too. Right. Look at the scam and the lies they're running on people. See that? Raising interest rates just for some rich people, man. Uh, it can't help the poor. And your credit card interest rate is this high and that high, and, 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 uh, and, 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 and uh, the different uh, bills and mortgages that people have to pay. Yeah, so yeah. it's all a scam, brother. And it's all the steps that make the Israel down, number one. That's what they have to. That's why I wanted to show you about the book of Revelation that uh, 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 the Magog War, those nations got together to come against Israel after all that was done on the earth and the salvation of Israel. They saw the salvation. You just heard what he said, okay? I'm let, like I said, I'm letting you hear it so it's on record, so you don't accuse me of putting words in this man's mouth. What did he just say? He said that, matter of fact, let me bring it back. Let me bring it back. One, two. You got to get the government against Israel after all that was done on the earth and the salvation of Israel. They saw the salvation of Israel and they rose up to take Israel out again. See that? He, did you hear what he said? Do I have to bring it back again? Let me bring it back again. And the salvation of Israel, they saw the salvation of Israel, and they rose up to take Israel out again. See that? You heard it three times, back to back. He said they, the nations saw that Israel was in salvation, so they got together and they said, let's take these people down again while they're in their kingdom. And we got, we're, we're supermen, we're Kryptonians, we're supermen and superwomen. We can read your mind. Okay, what did the Lord say? The things I do, you shall do in greater. It says in John that uh, somebody can put in the, in the uh, comment the, the actual precepts. I'm not going to go to every last one of them. He said um, he did so many wonders, miracles, that if, if you were to write in a book, the world could not contain it. So there was a lot of miracles that the Lord did that's not written you know, written in uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. Um, 
But he said this, he said, the works that I do, ye shall do and greater. So how in the hell is this so-called white man gonna come, come back into power? It doesn't make any sense. So now we know who our enemies are, bro. Gone, gone. That, that white boy up there in Buffalo is that you know, okay? And, and he's a part of a group that's feeding him, right? That's feeding him the spirit, you see that? He's a part of people that are feeding him. So your brother's got to be, 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 be like soldiers out in there, right? When you stab him, when you go on. So this, 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 this thing is at, you know, at a fever pitch. But they really wanted to go off and stop that. They were they were to get in there and put those positions in the middle. Okay. And, and it's run rough side over you. Okay. So now I just want to show you what time we're in now, right? So now to finish this right, I just wanted to finish um I just wanted to finish this uh this is Revelation 7 chapter 14 verse again, right? I'm just gonna read this. And I said unto him first, thou knowest, and he said unto me, these are they which came out of great tribulation. For all the saints that were saved. All the way through history, from the time Christ taught the gospel, are the ones that came out of the great tribulation. Even unto this day, all these brothers and sisters that are going to be brought out of the great tribulation is all the way to the end. That's what I will show you. And have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. See, everybody got to come to Christ. Everybody comes to say, wash their robes. Meaning, we, we, we believe and accept the truth that Christ died for our sins. See that? So, now, if we believe the gospel, so now, those are the ones that made their rule white in the blood of Christ. Christ died for our sins. He's our king. He's our savior. Okay, now, one more verse. Therefore, the 15th verse. Therefore, are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple, and he shall, and he shall, and he shall sit upon his throne and shall dwell among them. He shall sit upon the throne and dwell among them. So now we come into the time where God will dwell among Israel. And the other part about this that needs to be taught more is that the Israelites, we will become God. The Israelite males are going to become God, like the fifty days of the new season. God's meaning we're going to have spiritual power. So how in the hell is the is Esau and the other nation going to come back after a thousand years and take us down? I'm I'm hoping that we get to the point quick. I mean, I I guess I went back too far. But it, but it's being documented, you know, because, you know, some somebody jump up and say, well, Taha, he never said that. And he, well, I'm letting you. I, you just heard what he just said a couple of minutes ago. That the nations are going to get angry because Israel's back in power and their salvation, they're going to come up against us again. They're not going to come up. You just said we are gods. How the hell can a, a feeble man come against a god? Our vile bodies shall be changed into Christ's glorious body. You're going to actually know what it is to feel and live like a God with that power in you. So how, what, these guys should have came in. They should have came in and, direct, and corrected them. He's saying that we're going to be like God. So how in the hell is this, is, uh, are the Edomites and the other nations going to take us down if we, if we are gods? If we're, if we're, if we're, if we're brought back to our godly state, our angelic state, extraterrestrial, angels in bodies with power, including our men and our women and our children. How do we know children? Because it says, somebody can, I'm not going to go to it. It says that the children be able to play, play an adder's um, hole. I, I'm paraphrasing. And um, no animal, that fear, the most I said he put the fear and the dread of man and the animals. Back when Adam was on the scene, the Adamites, a lion would come up and, and went and bow down to, 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 the, uh, to Adam, the Adamites. Let's listen on. So we're going to come back to that. We're going to have a glow. This is what, this is what the gospel teaches. It's what Christ came to show you. These men will become God. It's now, now you're back to what God was showing Daniel, the tree of life. Now you're back to that eternal life. Okay, now, so um, I just wanted to finish that, right? And then you hunger no more, the 15th verse. Neither thirst anymore, neither shall the sun uh, light on And see, Konath and uh, Shasham, I don't know these other these other individuals. They should, these two, since they're so, since they're masters, of the scriptures, they should correct, they should have stopped them. 
They're just listening. Because the Most High is not dealing with them either. I'm not saying it out of anger or hate. I'm not particularly hateful or angry at, at these men right here. They just off. Either you if either you're on point or you're or you're off. And you guys are off, and you're under a man that's off too. He's got a lot, he knows a lot, he knows a lot. He's one of my teachers. But guess what? He's going off right now. He just said that we are God. The most high is going to bring us back to our godly state, our heaven, our angelic state. But the other nation going to pop a thousand years. Hey, I'm sick and tired of this. These Israelites ruling over us. Let's go take them down again. Let's listen to some more because he's going to go. I, I want to get the part where he goes into Reve, Revelation 20. You know what I'm going to do? Okay, this is one minute and 38 seconds in. I'm sorry, not one minute, one hour, 38 minutes in. I want to jump a little bit, see if I can catch it. If not, I just got to bring it back to uh, one to the one hour, 38 minute mark. Let me jump over here. Let's see what happens. That, you know, you got your kingdom, you have your power, and that's all that matters, and that's all you have to serve. Even though that they may say things about uh, if you're not around or with them or you the way, you the truth, and all these different things, that's not true. Uh, just uh, give glory to, and honor and respect to your king and worship your power, and everything will be all right. So that's all I want to say. I like, I like, I like, I'm like, I'm like, no man is over you now. You brother is coming to the now. Now you got to step in. Listen, I was told when I was a young man, son. Oh, you got to take back your man here. Harb is a guy that made the statement, we are your masters. He said, we are your masters. No, God gave you your man here. No man is over you. He told us the, the 12 apostles not to do that, right? He told them not to do that. Y'all brother. Y'all brother. Mm -hmm. He that is greatest among you, let him be your servant. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let him be your servant. Let me, uh, hold up. That, that's key. That's key right there. So concerning, a little bit, concerning the old conversation, right? Mm -hmm. Once you repent, that's that's washed, and no man, woman on this planet has no right to say anything about you because people always get on the Christian because Christians say uh, have a personal relationship with the Most High. Well, that's true. <laughs> The prophets, right? Right? And the most high would touch certain people, give them a certain understanding of it. And you beat down a brother with your, with your lips. That's another form of murdering somebody. Right? That he may have to give to him that needed. Verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. <laughs> no. That's why a lot of times you go to church, go to sleep with that uh, elder. I'm gonna let you get the last uh, uh, words. I would like. I'm glad you said you want to come back and teach uh, 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 on the. Um, I think you said that. Uh, oh, what yeah. did you say that? Yeah, the, the two witnesses, right? Two witnesses. Mm -hmm. I would love to hear that. We can't wait. Maybe we can do it this time. Let you speak, Bar. We can do this uh, 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 Saturday. Also, I want to do this. You know what? I'm sorry. We for to anybody. Stop blaming the white man for everything when it comes to us killing one another. But I'm going to tell you something I noticed. Every time the so-called white man kill us, you never see when they catch him. It it's almost seemed like they want everybody to see what they can do to us. It says that uh, that now we're still complete. I'm trying to catch. I'm trying to go catch the part where Lahab, or Elder Lahab, goes into Revelation 20. So bear with me, bear with me, please. That you, uh, one of the pioneers from um, that school of thought, I just wanted to ask you, um, in in your studies now or today, right? As far as um, dealing with the 12 tribe chart, 
Do you, do you still see that that stick for our nation is accurate, or do you have a different view on it now? Yeah. Um, if you don't want to answer, I understand. I'm just, I just want to ask for a, a pioneer perspective. Yeah, I can, I can answer. Yeah. yeah. In other words, in other words, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't put it together right. I didn't put it together. I was talking about it right. That's not on my end, that's on their end. Somebody's, you know, fumbling with the mic. That's not, that's, that's not on my end. I'm sorry about it. But that, but what, but see, one thing Christ said in the scriptures, because they were like, you know, they always had these scriptures, right? God warned us about the genealogies in the New Testament, remember? Yes. Been too overly caught up in that. Right. But on the other hand, right, in the book of Jeremiah, God said to us as Israelites, Men, he said, I'm going to speak to you in your captivity. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak to you, and you shall turn, you shall call yourself and turn in yourself by the name of Israel and Jacob, remember? Mm -hmm. So we 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 live in prophecy. We, you're in you I'm in that prophecy, you in that prophecy. Okay. So what, so, so what I'm saying is that Christ is going to put together the four tribes and the nation together. You and I know that. We know that. Mm -hmm. God's gonna do that, okay? And, 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 and what's missing and what's not correct, Christ is going to correct it, right? But Christ will correct everything in his nature. And here's the thing, right? Christ, we, we have a perfect team. No more leaders that gonna make mistakes. No more kings that can lead you down the wrong alley. Ain't gonna be no more mistakes in the nation of Israel once Christ take over. So Christ is going to put divine love for you. Christ is going to find love for you, men of Israel, for your women and your children. You gotta, this is something that the whole Bible is trying to keep us persistent. Mm -hmm. About the love of God that God has for us. So now we don't have no more, we have to worry about no more foolish people. Ain't gonna be no more foolish people in, like people saying uh, for now, running their mouth and hate you. That's gonna be over, okay? Mm -hmm. you, you're not gonna step into the kingdom of God in that spirit, okay? Well, what, what, what did God say? And the Queen of Sheba, what did God say about the Queen of Sheba? She gonna judge Israel and the judge of the kingdom is gonna be cast out, right? Mm -hmm. Because she came before God in that spirit. Queen of Sheba ain't gonna judge Israel. Read that again, Matthew 12, I believe. Q, can I? I, 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 I yeah, yeah. Because I love the last love 75 years, I said 75. And yep, they don't go strong. That's beautiful. All praise to the most high. Uh Aaron, I'm gonna let you get the last word and uh we don't deal with geology. Uh, we don't deal with geology like that, but we do. It's Negro, right? So I know who's on the most high is waking up with my eyes. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, about coming on. You know what I mean? Uh, it's I'm tired. <laughs> Let me come back. I'm sorry. I guess it's further over here, please forgive me, please forgive me, please forgive me. I'm at one hour and 12 minutes in. I'm trying to find a part where he goes into Revelation chapter 20. If you said they weren't, they killed you. The wealth of Wall Street and Vatican. The world that's the other part of the great tribulation. What what they did to the planet Earth, what they did to man. Right. And another shall rise up to them, and he shall be the virtue of the first, and he shall subdue three kings. Mm -hmm. um, and, he, and the, the pandemic is still going on. And you see, man is going at the time of life. You come up at, at the night verse 30 about now when Noah had had. So God is saying that God blessed them for their education about the studies of the heavens. You know, three and a half days, but it's actually uh, 42 months. It's uh, 1,260. So, so, so uh, uh, um, the time and time, a half a time, right? Uh, this, this might be it. The time and time, a half a time. It's, Three and a half years, it's 42 months, it is uh, 
1,260. Okay, showing that they're going to have the kingdom until Christ comes. And the, the three, uh, uh, that's why uh, I want to do the program right about the two witnesses. Uh, so I'll have to do that next time, right? But we're going to show that the, that the two witnesses also is a part of Israelite and the prophets that were the prophets that were that were the two witnesses. God did not give their name. But, but when you go back to the book of uh, in the scriptures, in the book of Revelation, it will show you that they were the candlestick they the olive tree and the candlestick. And then we'll go and show that the olive stick and the candlestick that this when you read when you when you go into uh, Revelation when you go into the scriptures and you see the three and a half uh 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 as for me then verse okay. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 13. People killed from previously on this planet Earth. Uh, so now, so just let me read this, right? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find it so I can get it. So I can, so y'all can hear it. John. Okay, so, so the 21st verse again, please. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, and verse 21. Follow me up to Christ. <laughs> and verse 23 stars shall fall from heaven I put a little bit more light on this stuff. in heaven and in earth with the spirit of love but he took his life and he's God of everything under the earth if, if you ever read the, the, the Roman Catholic the Guinea Bill colleges are part of their banking system in the Vatican and he came and spoke in the well of Washington. These are the Maccabees. They had this battle with Esau. The Daniel chapter 7, and verse 20. And we have time now that we get to the final stages in the end of the beast kingdom. So we're looking at it like things are raging out there. But now, but there are also great signs going on out there in the heavens. This is a, this is a nice verse, right? Uh, God afforded them a long time of life. Well, for the great year is complete. Uh, and he shall speak great right words against the most high, and shall wear out the saints of the most high. That, that, is, that is a biblical time. It's in the book of Revelation also. It's 300, it's three and a half years. When the three and a half times go in, uh, uh, 60 days is the beginning of Jacob's time. But I kept the matter in my heart. He was going to come in, hatred and murder and robbery was going to happen. Please bear with me. Please bear with me. Please bear with me. But it's your right. It's your inheritance to take over the world by God. You have <laughs> One, verse 18. That you know, the struggle. Never be settled with that, that move that he made on Ukraine. Thought that God wanted to go the way he was going to go with that. Love the Lord that God with all our heart. Love God. Then the Antichrist is going to be from there. That's all false doctrine. Most holy city and the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. Holy destruction. And they do the atonement. But I think it took about in the, some of the historical state. Those days shall be shortened. Gone. This is a book. In so much that if it were possible, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of the 21st verse, it's about to chapter 7 and verse 23. Break the earth into pieces, meaning this nations were slaughtered once the Roman Empire. Um, now, to understand the Vatican system, the, the Pope. Um, please forgive me, please forgive me, please forgive me. When you look at what's happening with mankind and all the it's about the ego. You know, you want positive people in your life, you know. He comes from the most high class people that's born, get the best. He brought out a situation with the great glory and doctors are serving. Now, the nuclear weapons that Russia and America are dealing with, this is like this. The Japan nuclear weapon was a 15 kiloton weapon. The weapon that a Russian and American. I think it's right around here. 
let's let's listen let's listen let's listen against God. Okay, this is what I wanted. I finally got it. He's going to go in the uh, Ezekiel chapter 38 and he's going to say that we're going to rule, we're going to reign for a thousand years in the kingdom. Then the other nations going to, you know, pop up out of nowhere and, and come against us, which he's totally going off on. But I believe this is it right about here. And please, please forgive me for all the jumping around. the land of Magog, the chief prince of Meshech and Tubal and prophesy against them. Go ahead. Verse three, and say, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshuch, Meshech and Tubal. Verse four, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I will bring thee forth, and all thine army, horses, and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Verse five. Persia, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Verse 6, Gomer and all his bands, the house of Togama of the North Quarter, and all his bands, and many people with thee. John. Well, we, can text it, we, we, we can text them in their lives right here. Because the two Israelites, just like you read, my brother, can you read that again? It shows everybody that's talking about the God and they got war, that the Israelites, the 12 child of Israel, must be back in Jerusalem. With the Magog war breaks out. John, John. So go ahead. Um, with the Magog war breaks out. The child of Judah must fight. They're talking about the dog and Magog war. That the Israelites, the 12 child of Judah must be back in Jerusalem with the Magog war breaks out. You just heard it. The, the, the 12 tribes of Israel must be back in Jerusalem in order for the Magog war to take place. Which that's a thousand years. If you go to Revelation 20, he's going to get into it. So he's off on that. So now, how can it, how can you explain uh, Isaiah uh, two, starting from the second verse on down? It says, "And uh, nations shall learn war no more." In order for us to take, in order for them to take us down, they got to learn war. So he's confused on that. He's clearly off on that. And I, I wanted it. I wanted to. For you to hear it, I hope, I hope it's clear enough for you to hear it, so I'm not accused of putting words in his mouth. Let's listen on, and I believe shortly he's going to go into Revelation 20. John, John, go ahead. Verse eight from the top again. After many days thou shalt be visited in the latter years, thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, which have been always waste. But it is brought forth out of the nations, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. See, they, that, see we can rest it right there. They shall dwell safely, all of them. So they're saying that Russia is going to start a war with the Israelites like who are about to go down for, right? Uh, so you can see that the God is telling you that Israel will be walking about the land and they're going to go safely, right? So the, the true Israelites have to be in the land of Israel, all true Israelites, all 
Also, a tribe, in other words, back into that land before God had made God for the gap. And let's go to the book of Revelation. Here it comes. Revelation chapter 20. Yeah, exactly. I know you brother know. <laughs> uh, 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 let's see what verse we go start at. Verse uh, 8, or do you want 7? Yeah, we start 7, right. Uh, Here it is right now. Book of Revelation chapter 20, verse 7. And when the thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and he sh and and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth God and Magog mm -hmm. God and Magog is talking about the nations there. four quarters of the world we're talking about those nations if you're going to see something about these nations go ahead mm -hmm. to gather them together to battle the number of whom is as the sand of the sea Verse 9, and they went up on the breadth of the earth and compassed the camp of the saints about mm. and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven and devoured them. And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the breast and the fault where the beast, Salakia. Where yeah. the beast and the false prophet are, and so they're, so they're going to form a new beast a thousand years, a thousand years um, when the kingdom starts. Let's say this kingdom starts tomorrow. A thousand years from tomorrow, a thousand years in the future, the beast is going to come back into power. And no, he's off. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. And so. You know, what is, what is uh, uh, Ephesians 4 all about? Starting from the 11 verse, every winded doctrine speaks about the, perfect, the perfecting of the saints. He's not perfected. And see, Kornath, or Elder Kornath, whatever title he has, they should have stopped him and corrected him or at least questioned him because they're, they're learning. They're, they're, they, they figure, oh, we got a top teacher. We got one of the original seven. Well, this seven right here, he clearly is going off. Remember Isaiah 2, verse 2 on down. The nation shall learn war no more. Uh, what is that? Ezekiel 39, they said they're going to destroy the weapons. There ain't going to be no more weapons no more. The beast is not going to form it anymore. He's, he got it wrong. Let's listen to a little bit more. Tormented day and night forever and ever. That's ultimately they're going they're going to go into captivity. Yeah, so, so now let's look at this right. Let's take it step by step. So now, as the brother read, as the Israelites were back in their land when God and they got walked back. See that? Uh -huh. the, two, the two Israelites were back in that land. So the God and they got war. The God is talking about this. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. So that means the beast to form again. It's, it's, it's talking about that what's going to happen before the kingdom, before the kingdom. It's going to lead, that war is going to lead into the kingdom, the deliverance of, of the elect of Israel. He's got it wrong. And like I said, these guys don't know the scriptures. They're looking up to him like he's the great, uh, the great master teacher, but he's clearly going off. And I showed you that. Gather to yourself, teachers having itching ears. Let's listen to some more. After Satan was found a thousand years, he was released for a little season. He was released that little season is when out of Spain, it came, that, that grace, that release came. The Lord released him out of that, out of that bond for a thousand years out of Spain. The power was in Spain at that time with a key key uh, person is uh, Christopher, Christopher Columbus, Cristobal Colon, where he went to the New World. That's, what it's that's when the beast was released or the, the, the dragon was released in Revelation chapter 20. And what he did, right, he 
went out and gathered the nations together uh, to destroy Israel. You know what this shows us? That the nations, man, were never for Israel. Because Israel, once you were chosen in the elect, now you got enemies. A lot of you brothers have found that out in your life. Like that. Mm -hmm. you, you see that? You know, mm -hmm. it, 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 listen, they didn't learn nothing after a thousand years, right? The nations haven't learned nothing. They're going to let Satan come back again, right? Look what's in the heart of these nations that they're going to be gathered together with Satan to come back again, right? Look what's in the heart of these nations that they're going to learn nothing. They're going to let Satan come back again, right? Look what's in the heart of these nations that they're going to be gathered together with Satan to come back and attack them again. See? So now, what he's talking about right now is after th the thousand year reign, um, of Israelites ruling for a thousand years, those nations are going to secretly gather together and they're going to come against us again. That's what he's saying. That's what this man's saying. Ezekiel 3, my favorite, one of my favorite precepts, eat the roll and go out and teach the sons of Israel. He ate, he ate the roll, but he lost some of the roll. He, he vomited some of it back up. That's why God brought Israel out of Egypt. Israel is supposed to be an outpost in this earth. Uh, where God was the throne of earth, right? And 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 fight this battle with Satan and prove to Satan that his word was going to stand. That's why God told David, if you keep these commandments, David was king, you should have the kingdom forever. How about that? So meaning that, but the nation of Israel broke the commandments because they had to be a change temporarily. And the Christ came and died for the sins of Israel to deliver them from the curse of the law. So now, but look at these nations, man. They came back after a thousand years. So were the nations ever down with Israel? No, they weren't. They were our enemies because we were the chosen Israel. Just say it again. He's talking about the thousand years of us reigning. The thousand year reign. Satan is going to come back and go to war against us again. Clearly not. Uh, um, incorrect. Incorrect. This is what you must understand. That's why the man killed the people up there in Buffalo, New York, right? They had shot 13 people, killed 10, right? Because this hatred in their heart, he's saying that what he really saying that the blacks are taking over. They don't want you to take over, right? Yes, sir. But, yeah. if, you're, but if you're right, it's your inheritance to take over this world by God. You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> it's your God given right. He can't, and listen, the people that he shot, they're not going to bring out of the grave, right? They don't understand how God is operating, right? So look at this. The nation came back to fight Israel after all, after, after the, uh, what do you want to call it, the Third World War, what do you want to call the Battle of Armageddon, and they will still come back and gather together the state to fight Israel. So, so look, what do you want to call the Third World War, what do you want to call the Battle of Armageddon, Third World's War is going to take place, according to Elder Lahab. The Third World War is going to take place. The Battle of Armageddon is going to take place. We're going to rule for a thousand years, and then the beast is going to gather up steam, and they're going to come against us again. Clearly off. And they're going to still come back and gather together the state and fight Israel. So, so in, the, in, the, in the kingdom for a thousand years, Satan is plotting. He's you know, whispering in Edomite's ears, he's raising up the Rothschilds and he raised them back up from the dead. And they're going to sneak up on Israel in the kingdom. This man is off. He's off. He's clearly off, man. And a lot of these guys, that's why we say we got 100%. You have an unction from the Holy One and you know all things. Now you see who the Egypt was, this was God was warning us about Egypt, about Babylon. He's not going to this people of serve of God, and Israel was going to be an outpost on this earth, and God was going to come down and dwell among them. The angels came down and dwell among them. God had Solomon in a temple where he came down and dwell among them. And it was going to show his power in the earth against the state and his power that got this earth after Adam and Eve sinned. When Adam, and when Adam and Eve sinned, the scripture says through the end of the devil, death came into the world. But I'm going to show you something right quick, right? I'm going to show you, brother, something. Nobody has no hell to keep brother there. Okay, I'm going to show you, right? I'm going to go to Revelation, the first chapter, the 18th verse. Okay, with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom.